Yeah, it's it, it's really hard to describe. I think peanut butter, it might even be kind of like um, nail filings from like, if you file your nails, it kind of smells like that, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's maybe a little bit perfumey too. Marcel Katab is one of the many people who have been diagnosed with parosmia, an altered sense of smell due to COVID. I got COVID, I think I was infected at the end of March. I first noticed a loss of smell in early April, like a, about a week, a few days to a week later. Um, and it was pretty sudden. And then I, I didn't have my smell or, or really taste either um, until um, the end of April, I think it started coming back pretty faintly. But Marcel's sense of smell came back totally altered. In the beginning stages too, when it was really severe, um, it even smelled bad like when I was taking a bath or shower um, with like shampoo and conditioner and soaps. Um, they all smelled weird. It, toothpaste tasted funny. So the definition of parosmia is the abnormality of sense of smell. So uh, there is anosmia where you've lost your sense of smell. Um, this is a little different because patients are smelling some things and identifying others. Patients I've seen recently, they will come in and complain that they actually will smell chicken or meat and it actually smells rancid. Uh, some of them even describe that it smells like gasoline. So anything deep fried, like it smells really bad to me. Um, and that's why I have corn oil here as an example, um, because it, like I never noticed that it would have a smell before, but now it just smells really um, bad. Onion powder is it's also hard to describe. It smells rotten, um, petri, like that's the best way to describe it. It's just like something that's bad, really bad. Garlic powder. It has a similar smell to onion powder, but like I can distinguish between them. Like they're slightly different, but it's both, they're both like rotten smelling um, and bad or oil. Yeah, it's got almost a perfumey smell now too, um, but also kind of like a rotten smell to it as well. Thankfully, doctors believe patients can recover from parosmia with time and smell training. I've seen this way before COVID where patients were having a change in their sense of smell just from the common cold or bacterial infection, but it's become more prominent where these patients are having the change in smell. Um, and we do know, of course, that it's the COVID virus that is actually attacking the olfactory nerve that gives us our sense of smell in our nose. One of the treatments that we're recommending is olfactory retraining. Um, is they found to be the most effective, and that is where you take uh, a few scents, such as lemon and peppermint oil, and you take four scents, and you actually, twice a day, um, smell those scents and tell yourself exactly what you're smelling so that you're retraining your brain and olfactory nerve to identify certain scents. I think that, you know, based on like other people I've interacted with with parosmia, it seems that the more you expose yourself to like the bad smells, the, the more quickly you improve. In the beginning when it was really severe, like it was kind of impossible to do that. But now there are more and more foods where like they have like a slightly bad taste over top um, or they taste completely different and not necessarily good, but it's tolerable. Like for example, beer tastes like perfume now. Um, it smells like perfume. So like it's not, you know, raw and it's completely intolerable, but it's not the same as I remember it or good either. But I think just by exposing, being able to expose myself to those things, it helps it to taste better and normal over time. This is Inside Edition Digital.